Okay, today we're going to be looking at a program that I'm actually not very versed in. I actually just learned about it today and I've been playing around with it a little bit and I thought I'd share what I do know and hopefully I explain everything properly, but forgive me if I don't. The program is C-H-A-G-E and this allows you to control um, basically the expiration dates on passwords. So you have a, a users, let's say you're a system administrator and you have a bunch of users and you want to make sure that they change their password every 30 days or every 60 days. This program will allow you to do that set different users to have different lengths to when their passwords expire. You can also set when warnings are going to uh, come up, let them know that, oh, your password is going to have to be changed in the next seven days or the next three days. Um, and like I said, it does a bunch of different things in regards to that. What we're going to look at today is forcing the user to change their password next time they log in. So someone's account has been compromised and uh, you want everybody on your system to change their password next time they log in. Well, you can force them to do that using this command. First things first, let's look at my user metal. So I'm using the command uh, C-H-A-G-E uh, dash L for list and the username. If I hit enter now, you'll see that um, last time I changed my password, which is today, um, the password will expire in 60 days because that's what it's set to now just from what I've been playing around with. Um, the password goes inactive, never, account expires, never. Um, and uh, you have other options here, minimum number of days between password changes and the maximum number of days, uh, which would be in this case 60 is what I have it set to. Um, so basically in 60 days my password expire, I'll have to put a new one and I get seven days warning. Well, let's say, like I said, we want to force all users to change their passwords next time they log in. What we can do is we can use this command like so, or we're gonna have to do sudo or you would have to be root. Uh, and then we would type in that command, uh, C-H-A-G-E, change. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm assuming it stands for change, like change password, um, but I don't really know how to pronounce it if you pronounce it like that. Anyway, um, we're going to do dash D and zero. Uh, so, well, let's do actually, before we do that, we'll have a look at the help file so I can explain what things mean to you. The dash D says set date of last password changed to last day. And basically what we're going to be doing with that is if we do it, let's clear the screen here. We are basically setting it to say the password expired today. Like I said, I. I hope that I'm explaining this well. So sudo or be root, the command dash D zero, and then the username. Obviously, since you're running sudo, you have to type in your password. That's fine. Everything worked great. Uh, if the user's logged in, nothing affects them right now. But next time they go to log in, they're going to get a message telling them that they have to change their password. And to show you how that works, I'm just going to SSH into my machine here. So I'm going to say SSH zero. For those of you who don't know that, um, zero when you're talking about SSH is the same as saying local host. So I could type local host or I could type in my IP address or I can just put zero when it comes to SSH. I don't have to put a username because I already am metal. Uh, so I'll hit enter there and ask me for my password. Let me see if I can remember it because I've changed it a few times today. Okay, so I typed in my password and I get my little uh, screen here and it says, warning, your password has expired. You must change your password now and log in again. Changing password for metal and then it will ask you for your current password. So you type in your password again and you type in a new password. I'm gonna type in the same password again just to show you what happens. I'm gonna type it in a second time here. And it says password unchanged because I didn't change my password. So the user has to change their password before they can log in. So I'll type in a new password and a second time to make sure I typed it right. And it says password updated successfully. And then it disconnects you in the case of an SSH, in which case I would have to SSH in again. Now, as far as the GUI interface, so let's say you're physically sitting on a computer and get a log on screen. Uh, I can't really show you this here unless I set up a virtual machine for this, which I'm not going to do, but just take my word on it. If you ran that command, next time that person went to log in on the GUI screen yeah, using GDM or whatever uh, um, manager they use for their logins, 
Uh, once they log in, that box will say same thing, warning you have to change a password and it will ask for your current password and new password twice. So same thing, just in the GUI interface. Um, and that's it. That's all I'm really going to show you for that command today. But once again, that command is C-H-A-G-E. Uh, you're going to want to do sudo if you're going to be making changes. Um, dash L will list uh, and then the username will give you the information on that user's name. In fact, um, let's change it again. If I do if I do dash L once again, it will show you uh, last time I changed it, which I just changed it so it's today. Since I have it set to 60 days that they have to change, which is also something you can specify with uh, this command, but we're not really going over today. Um, and then when the password expires, uh, now if I once again run that command and change dash D to zero, and I list it out again, now you'll see that that user password must be changed in all accounts right here. And again, if I SSH in, I will type in my password that I just changed. Then it says, okay, you must change your password. And then type in the new password twice. As long as you typed it right all times, it says it's updated, it disconnects you, and they'll have to reconnect in. So uh, this is definitely a nice little tool if you have uh, users other than yourself on the machine, you're kind of the, the administrator or root. Um, and also another little quick tip on SSH0 if you didn't know about that. A viewer told me about that a long time ago and I do use it. Um, that's it. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit the links in the description.